there's certain uniforms you just kind of. Jack Van Dyke boots it away. And it's short. And Trayman's going to have a chance. He mops it. Just does collect it before the coverage team flies down there and hits him at the 12-yard line. So not good field position. Something's got to give tonight. He gets a handoff off the left side. And it's good to have the Hawaiian moves all over the place. He tries to disrupt quarterbacks. He gets into the edge, and that's a quick catch by Marvin Harrison Jr., who's been on fire. Five touchdowns this season, eight in the last four games. Henderson. Motions out, empty backfield in this first down play. Strat across the middle, throws a dart, and it's caged over. The tight end is becoming an increasingly important part of this attack, getting vertical. Wisconsin actually recruited him very heavily. 43 yards in the first two pass plays, and now they hand it off to Henderson, who's got a seam, and he's knocked down after a game inside the Wisconsin 35. Stover going across in motion to the right now. Stroud looking across the middle, and he flips it down, and the catch is made by Abuka, who fights toward the pylon and is forced out at the one. John Torchio saved the touchdown, but it's first and goal. Wow, just like that, they are knocking the door of Mayan Williams. Big physical back, gets the football, and fights through some tackles and leans. Touchdown, Ohio State comes out swinging. Everything, but those seam rounds hurt Wisconsin badly. Yeah, you don't see a Wisconsin defense look that confused. Wisconsin did not come in here hoping to get involved in a shootout. I can guarantee you that. We'll see if Mertz and this offense, which would be out without Kirk, it's two starting tackles. Jack Nelson is left at home with an illness. Braylon Allen, the tall sophomore tailback. Some of these young corners, only three scholarship corners playing tonight. This is Braylon Allen in the direct snap, knocked down. Allen averaging 6.6 .6 per carry. And they give it to him on third and short, and he just falls forward for a first down. But Ohio State front, they get Michael Hall Jr. back, one of the stars against Notre Dame has missed the last couple. He's a difference maker in here. They hand the ball off to Garendo. Does he get the corner? No. Even Ohio State fans are going to say, who are these guys playing in the secondary tonight? We'll, we'll fill you in. Mertz on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked off. Tanner McAllister, the safety still alive. And will finally be wrestled out the 15. A quick takeaway and a mistake by Mertz. All smiles there. The safeties have to be solid tonight with those new guys at corner. Now, meanwhile, Stroud a chance to build this lead. From the 16, Henderson picks his way and he's knocked down. You don't want to get down 14 with the offense that you have on the road. They got to try to hold Ohio State to a field goal. Strad rolls to his left and now throws back to a right and wide open is Stover who somersaults for a touchdown. <laughs> Completely forgot about the tight end after that motion. And Stover. Yeah. And this will be a touchback. You remember that Michigan State game last year? We were all excited. It was supposed to be a big game, and an avalanche set in early. Wisconsin needs to avoid that. Garando trying to avoid behind the sticks. Mm, second and 15. Allen. And he gets about half the necessary yard. Playing around him tonight. See how they hold up here on third down on the edge. And he needs seven. Buckeyes will rush five. Mertz will take a downfield shot and way over the head. Andy Vunovic on the punt for the Badgers. Kicks it off the side of his foot. And Puka drifts back and makes a fair catch at the 29. It's, it, we're a long ways away. Yeah, that's pretty good, 102. But we're close enough to know that Ohio State looks really good on offense so far. <laughs> they pitch it to the edge, and the catch is made by Ibuka. Gets a blocker, spins through some tackles. Safety does not come over. He's a little bit slow and easy to decision there. Now it's Harrison who makes the catch. Stroud, six for six, already over 100 yards in the first eight minutes of play. You and I have been to a lot of these Thursday practices. You know, it just looks like a Thursday practice in the way he's zipping this ball around. You know what Jim Knowles does when they go good on good? They bring out eight or nine DBs, so it's not seven on seven. It's seven on eight or nine just to make things tougher for Stroud. <laughs> I asked Ryan Day, did, did you ask them to do that? He said, no, no, they just sneak extra DBs out there. But it yeah. does give him a sense. 
It's also a place for five star receivers like to come. Stroud gets the ball out again, complete to Stover, and he barrels for a first down inside the 30. Play clock winding at two, and they'll call a timeout. Handed off on the left side. Henderson breaks the tackle and darts down near the 10 yard line. Henderson weaves his way through traffic, accelerates, and barges out at the one yard line. First and goal. And Stroud still got it, and he just flips it into the end zone to Stover again. The second for the tight end. They're just having fun. Once Ryan Day gets a hang of this play design thing, hey, he'll give him a little time. He'll, yeah. he'll get it there. It's going to be something. <laughs> wow. Took this offseason incredibly serious in a lot of different ways, studying film, working out. Unacceptable, Kirk. There's a mistake by Ohio State here. They've kicked the ball out of bounds. And that penalty was spotted at the 35. <laughs> How do you begin to establish something on offense and chip away? Hand the ball off to Ches Malusi, who. And run around and play with their hair on fire. And I think you're seeing that tonight. Mertz steps up and he will get dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Buckeyes back out, rush four. Mertz still has to step up to avoid pressure on the run. Checks it down. And fighting along the sideline is Skyler Bell. He's run out. He's not known as a real gambler, but often in these cases he'll do things that are out of character. But nothing going right as the punt is shanks. Stroud incomplete for the first time tonight off the hands. And that experience and Ryan Day. At the left side. Sees Williams is knocked out. Now they see Blitz. And Stroud on the first third down play of the night finds Harrison on the slant. Three receivers off to the left. They run that direction with Williams. He gets some blocks and runs untouched for about 12 yards before taking a hit. Yeah, 210 total yards for the Buckeyes. Marvin Harrison Jr. is back on the field. Holly can update that momentarily. Stroud, the pressure off the edge, just steps around it, fires down the middle, and a rare inaccurate throw. And they hand it off, and Williams powers left. Under third down, they need three here. Well, is the what is this safety? Sorry, do you mind go back to that last look? What is this safety going to do? Is what I want to know. Because if he goes this way, then you got a shot one on one. Is he going to stay and protect? Williams running to the right. They hit him behind the line. He just spins free. Brian Williams barrels down inside the five. Buckeyes on the doorstep yet again. Eighth play of this drive. A couple of tight ends in the game. Handoff and just waltzing in untouched is Williams. Buckeyes have more yards so far in this game than Wisconsin allowed per game last year. It's a proud defense reeling down 28. So Marty, welcome. We're going to take a look at the replay of that somersault tackle against Smith and Jigba as Garindo takes the kickoff back and tries to create something. Marty, I talked with him before the game, asked him if he's okay and, you know, how soon he might come back. He thinks he may rest it potentially another week. He just wants to be careful with it because, like you said, it's... We hope to see him back soon. The opponents don't. Mertz on second and long, makes a long throw. A flag comes out. I don't see that pass as catchable. And the pass is checked in. Allen on second and one picks his way for a first down. We're seeing this defensive side for Ohio State. The, the headlines were all about the offense, and there's 11 touchdowns against Toledo. But Jim Knowles says this defense did not meet their standard. They've given up Kirk 150 yard plus pass play in each of the three games, given up a lot of shock plays. They are buttoned up tonight. Though. Yeah, he talked about not containing Toledo last the quarterback, gave up some big plays and you know, and, and that's all part of growing with a new system. No matter who you're playing, everybody getting on the same page. Again, this is a much more sophisticated scheme than they've been running in recent years. So, Mertz has some ground in front of him, and he'll just scamper for a first down at the 40. Eichenberg chased him out. Graham 
Adams, two for four, 18 yards in the early going. And again, that's a little thing right there, but just not being on the same page. Zach Harrison with an inside move, and when he makes that inside move, there's nobody there to be able to help set the edge. So if the DM is going to collapse down, somebody's either got to twist around him or a backer to the next level is going to come, come around. That was an easy easy read there for Graham Mertz to be able to see he could get the edge and pick up that first. Allen back in a wildcat formation. Going by Ches Malusi who takes the handoff running back to running back and it fools no one and gains a yard. Mertz steps up and delivers in traffic and it's broken up very nicely by Josh Proctor. Another one of those safeties they get back this week. Oh, that, that, that's a nice job in an area that I think Josh Proctor has really grown. He's known as a kind of a, a hard hitting safety, but a good job of he saw that from way back, the potential threat. Noisy on third down. Mertz rolls, doesn't see anybody, and just delivers downfield. And getting behind folks is Skyler Bell. The redshirt freshman out of the box, and the Badgers are set up. The Ohio State 16. Little miscommunication in the back end. Watch Tanner McAllister's eyes. He starts to get caught up in the receiver in front of him. Nobody's back there behind to help him out. Mertz is going to get hit right as he releases the ball, but a good job. I thought he might give up on the play. Waits until the last possible moment to make that throw downfield before Proctor could get, uh, get over. Nice job by Bell. Got 26 on third nine, set up at the 14 now. Allen on the delay, cuts it back to the right. Braylon Allen barrels down to the five yard line. Allen, the latest in a great tradition of tailbacks at Wisconsin. Boy, what an incredible line of running backs and offensive linemen they've had since Alvey came in uh, to Wisconsin in the early 90s. Allen again back as a Wildcat quarterback. And takes it himself and dives down near the goal line. No signal yet. Now he stopped just short. Yeah, they had four Doak Walkers in a nine year period. <laughs> yeah. Two by Taylor. Yeah. Good, strong running offensive line. Look at that block right there. Good job of putting Ohio State on their back. There was Logan Brown, that young five star offensive tackle who's been inserted into the lineup. And that's Wisconsin football there with the big back taking a direct snap down inside the five. I formation. Jackson Aker, the fullback. He's in front of Allen. Three tight ends in the game as we pause here on first and goal. Holly? Well, I talked with Braylon Allen this week, and he was telling me just how cool it is to have that long line of running backs at Wisconsin because they're all in a group text chat. See if Allen gets the give. Now they'll sneak it with Murphs on first and goal, and the Badgers finally crack the score column. You get a signal, make it official. Did he not get it well across? He's to the left. Yeah, touchdown finally. All right, he's over here. <laughs> he's trying to be crazy. out of the end zone with the football, but now we got a very methodical. So the Badgers in a 72 yard, 10 play drive took about five minutes to chip into this huge lead. Pretty clear from above to see that he got across. Yeah, the officials are always looking for the football. And you can see his entire upper body is across the line and in. I, Nate Van Zelst, who took over as kicker when Vito Calvaruso got injured. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Figured to be a duel between he and last year's winner, Bryce Young, but Ohio State's offense is just a, it's just a different level right now. Kick driven way out of the end zone. What do you tell you guys? What can you do? Try to begin to make it a little challenging for Ohio State. They begin with a first down run for a short game. 
I mean, for the last five years, just to reiterate what we talked about in the open, Jim Leonard's defense has been the top, one of the tops in the country. Now, it's a young group, but statistically speaking, you look at points per game and third down defense, they've been incredible. Williams has a huge hole. Tore like a lane, and he just walks right through it into Wisconsin territory. Stroud launches over the middle. In the grab is Stover, who holds on, going down hard at the Badger 23. Ball skills, athleticism, ooh, yeah, for a converted linebacker, all of it. Came down really hard when he went up into the air. The safety back there, Latou, waiting for him, known as a physical safety, just how he came down. He's up on his feet, which is a great sign. But again, Stroud finding that seam. Between the linebacker and the safety, and the ball does come out. Good to see him up and running. That was a violent collision, and then down to the ground where he landed awkwardly. Though so they don't give him credit for the catch. The ball came, it came out. out. He didn't yeah. complete it to the ground, so it'll be second and ten. Stroud again, you said the last one with the chalk, checking out the defense, making those adjustments, looking over today. Got to be an uncomfortable feeling if you're a Badger right now, seeing that you're looking for the perfect play against your luck. Had to show some late pressure, and it's a handoff middle to Williams who spins and fights through for Lotsu gets him to the ground. And see, so I thought Jim Leonard might move a little bit more after that. 33, they move pretty quickly. Pitch it to Williams, who doesn't quite have first down yardage. Stop just short. So fourth and about a half yard here. See how Ryan Day he communicates. The signals get called in. It's very quick. Everything executes and moves quickly. Can the Badger defense somehow come up with a short yardage stop? Get the football back. See, he saw a look. Ryan Day sees a look. And the signs go back up. C.J. Stroud looks over and makes his own adjustment. And they will hand it off, and Williams bounces it first down, and a lot more before they finally knock him down inside the 30. Only has one career rush longer than 25 yards, so he's not the home run hitter that Henderson is, but man, does he hit, as Brian Day says, a lot of doubles and RBI singles. <laughs> it's Henderson back in the game. He has home run ability, and he quickly darts for about seven. Holly? Well, Mayan Williams is running hard and angry, and that's exactly why he got into football in the first place. When he was a little kid, about eight years old, his mom made him start playing football because he had anger issues. He was getting into trouble, beating up kids in the neighborhood, and he told me, my mom was right. I was able to get my aggression out on the field, and that's still the case. But he has a big, goofy, fun personality. He actually wants to open a daycare center and work with kids when he's older. But he is a really fun kid, but boy, does he run angry. Yeah, he's not fun for opposing tacklers, that's for sure. Anderson wrestled down a yard short. Rossi in the backfield, and they hand it off to the fullback slash tight end. That is, a, it's been a great half of football at the line of scrimmage. Stroud across the middle, and it's high off the hands of Stover, who's back in the game and trying for a hat trick. Well, C.J. Stroud, when as soon as he threw this football, he was disappointed with himself. He, he, he tried to pull back, like, get him back, bring that ball back just a little bit. It's so close. He missed over for a wide open touchdown in last week's route, and he, that's one of the things that disappointed him. I mean, the ball barely hit the ground, but yeah. he did miss his tight end one time. And, you know, and Zachman, the, the safety there, if he, wasn't, if he wouldn't have been there, if he would have been maybe just a few feet to the right, I don't know if he's able to. Stover may have had a chance to bring that down still. Henderson picks his way up. You talked about the offensive line. You know, one matchup bad result they had a chance to win was big Keanu Benton, the nose tackle against Whippler and Jones and Jackson, those guards. They they thought that was a matchup that they had to win and had a chance to win. Not so far. You saw Whippler, yeah. You see Whippler there. And it, uh, and he's the one that's lined up directly across Benton, but he, did you hear that yell? That was him. 
yelling after he went down. Good to see him back up and ready for the next play. Now the battle up front between the guy they call Big Tree, Isaiah Mullins, and Benton, that is being won by those Buckeye offensive linemen in a oh. big way so far. And third and five. Anderson will be stopped short. Pick for the Tar Heels for three years before transferring over. And 25 Ruggles drives it right through. It's a five year span though. Pick up taken by Garendo. Breaks a tackle. Runs straight ahead and hard. Out across the 40s. Badgers. Good field position off the return by Garendo. And Mertz looking to throw in first down underneath through it behind. And Ryan Turner, potentially a freshman who just lost his black stripe. They're playing some young players. I'm surprised Wisconsin has not tried to test him more on the edge. Mertz on the run, checks it down, bobbled and caught. Roman Rush, Mertz has time, steps up, delivers over the middle, into coverage and incomplete. Able to get away with it, right, long right arm, round and knocking it away. Brunovich gets the punt away. Buka is going to let it bounce over his head. On the receiving team, number 20, half the distance to the goal, first and 10, Ohio State. That may affect what Ryan Day does here, 98, 90 yards from the end zone. He'll just hand it off to Henderson. <laughs> I still think they, for the sake of working for these kind of moments and games, I wouldn't be surprised to see Ryan Day. This is different than working on something like this at practice. There, there's a different tempo there. He's still thinking about a field goal. They'll wind the clock after the change is set, and there's a short throw catch made by Fleming. Stroud has been incredibly accurate and efficient on throws downfield. This one loops over the head and almost intercepted. Was it caught? Yeah, Torchio came across, tracked the football, and it is the first interception of the season thrown by C.J. Stroud, and it's Illinois State in the opener. So Wisconsin has all three timeouts. Mertz on the move, checks it down, and catch made for a short gain. McAllister knocked down Cundiff, who is slow to get up. Obvious pain. Throws his helmet off, and they're looking at that left ankle. Is reflecting some serious fear that this is something serious. Yeah. Burt steps up and has plenty of space ahead. Starts his slide way before the marker. Third down and four here. Mertz moves his feet around the pocket, delivers a high throw, and making the catch behind the line. Stop the clock briefly, perhaps. Take a shot at the end zone or a long field goal. There's a looping throw and broken up at the last minute. There's an apparent ankle injury. Carted off at the end of the half. We'll see if Holly can get a further report. But certainly a deflating injury. And already deflating evening for Wisconsin. Graham Mertz has just not been able to deliver. His chance, just a balanced attack, total package there in the first half. Eschenbach, the tight end, in for Clinton. I saw him motion to the left. They run to the right with Allen. I need to see how will my guys respond when their backs are against the wall. Well, Mertz escapes pressure. And they'll try to run it with the tailback keeper on third down. And Allen gets around the edge. Flag out as he barges into Ohio State. Turf. Sorry, the flag was it's in the gonna, middle of the run. Yeah, it's going to be a hold. My guys bring pressure. Mertz immediately retreats and has to throw it away. Jim Knowles on third down. Heard it talk about the one loss record. You know, Mertz has had to live with the fact that against ranked teams in his career, Coming into this one, two and six. And it's relentless energy. It demands it. Wants to see a sharp start to the third quarter from this offense. And Stroud comes up throwing and almost intercepted Nick Herbig. School that produced Toyota, oh, yeah. and many others. Stroud has protection and delivers a dart, a strike for a first down of the 47-yard line at Bouquet. 
Henderson. Buckeyes are going to have two backs over 100 yards, it appears. Mayan Williams, 11 for 101. And Henderson now closing in with 84 yards rushing. Mayan Williams averaging nine yards a carry. Off play action, Stroud will look to the sidelines. Harrison hit. Need four on third down. Henderson motions out, two by two look, empty backfield. CJ looks to get ball out quickly and throws it down to Fleming who makes a man miss. Julian Fleming still running, galloping down near the 15 yard line. Yeah, all these receivers bring it something a little bit different to the table. Anderson. All very different, all incredibly talented and gifted. Anderson. And he's going to run through a tackle. He lost his balance, though. Left. Or maybe that was the plan. <laughs> Watch his history. <laughs> Slant and touchdown. Julian Fleming fights his way in. And a simple for a field goal late in the second quarter. He loves coming, uh, loves coming to the games. Your wife Allison is over here in the house. You drag her out here. We got plenty of time right. to bring we're the we're entire we're extended we're family up here. You and I and Holly about the adversity he's been through and how it's made this his foundation now. So. It's a good test to that tonight. DK on the end around. They felt they really had learned from that loss to Washington State. They lost at home trying to win the West Division. And you know, off the left side, Allen. The thing sure. that we put a fence around Ohio and maybe sprinkle in a few here and there from the south. Now it's the opposite. Screen. Bell gets a block, breaks a tackle, and fights out across the 35. It'll make it third and manageable. And they've got a great blueprint. Crowd back in on third and four. Buckeyes bring pressure. Mertz escapes for now and fires incomplete. You knew coming in it was going to be a tough ass. Ugly kick. Just shanked out of bounds off the 50 yard line. They got to play much better with that defensive line. You thought they'd apply more pressure. Stroud rolls out off the play action, extends the play, and just fires it into the dirt, and then he gets knocked down late. I am huh? on a championship level right now myself. <laughs> Working from sideline to sideline, that'll do it. Make sure you recover. You want you want a championship recovery score, right? Because they chart that as a holding penalty. On Ohio State, there backs it up, so they're the behind the sticks and back in their own territory. Dwan Jones, a big right tackle, who's had a really good night. This time, just grabs onto the chest there. Of that linebacker Turner. I'm glad that they don't give our TV crew like the rings to chart the, the quality of sleep and whether we're rested not, and recovered. In game day, I would have flunked. I would have been not allowed on the set back in those days. I'm having a hard time from <laughs> Thursday <laughs> to, to Sunday. Look at you a ring. I would lose. I would fail. <laughs> Are you allowed to sleep between Thursdays? No. Turns out I'm not. <laughs> Meet and greet in the booth during your games. <laughs> right. Well, we'll see in January. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like January 12th. I'm all yours. Empty backfield, five receivers on this third and 13. Badgers do bring four. Stroud has time. Beginning to struggle a little bit. Wisconsin took a while, but they're beginning to make things at least challenging for Stroud. Yeah, they're dropping two safeties deep to take any of the shots away. And what's different is you've got five underneath. What the, these seam routes that they were able to hit earlier. See that safety drop down into the middle. Get a linebacker there that's able to take that cross away. So Jim Leonard making some adjustments. Remember, if you watch this entire game, first half seam routes to the to the slot receiver and a tight end really cost the Badgers, but some good adjustments here. To you have Jesse Merko sighting. He's the Ohio State punter, one of the least known players in the country. And he flagged down. And as the punt is fair caught on the four yard line, the first of the night for Murko. Works hard, does his job well, just isn't called on a lot yet. Yeah. There may be some games as the Big Ten schedule unfolds that involve field position and the occasional punt. During the kick, holding, receiving team number 14, the half the distance from the end of the kick, first down. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Lots to rejoice about. It's going to be another home victory for the Buckeyes. Badgers backed up at the two here after that penalty. Allen 
takes a handoff from four yards deep and fights to avoid the safety as Eichenberg, who's been active tonight, flew in there. In the timeout, here's Man, what happened. This was exciting. This is the best stuff. Boom! Oh, I mean, he got knocked out. That was exciting. It, it got me going. It's a 31 point game here. <laughs> Allen, again, from his own end zone, picks his way for a short game. Oh, he was caught <laughs> off guard there. <laughs> All the experts weighing in. That's, that's where we are here. <laughs> Third quarter. Well, Buckeye faithful are, are still here in, in huge numbers and making life tough on Mertz again. The closed end of the horseshoe. Showing pressure. Don't bring it. They back out. It's a screen and they sniffed it out and knocked it down. Great quickness to be able to get to him and then got close enough to be able to get his hand up and deflect it away. Brunovic has shanked a couple. He's had a punt of 23 yards. The last one was 18. Flag down. This is a really ugly low kick on the bounce fielded by Abuka in Wisconsin territory. Spinning again, spinning, and he's finally knocked down after a nice return inside the 40. Ended up being a 44 yard punt, a, a low, ugly boot. Nothing really going well in any phase tonight for Wisconsin. And we'll check the flag. Buka, that looks a little bit like the, the collision with the inflatable guys yeah. down there on the end zone. He's pinwheeling around. Have you ever, done, that? Around. Have you ever done those? I, I want to now. Oh, they're fun. Where did you do that? We could do that after the game, go down there and <laughs> rough each other up down there. I mean, it's, I mean you, you can. I got some other plans after the D. game, but I mean, maybe D. another time. D. Lo, if you got low Aaron center. Brown over here, the yeah, former former fullback, fullback low guys. center gravities, low man wins low in man, that. Low man wins. Okay, and you got to build up the speed. Well, I'm, now you're starting to see if you have experience, if you you're, yeah, yeah. you know the technique. Yeah, my kids get me those for birthday parties, so I'd hop in there, run around, and just blast them into the wall. I don't know if we needed a nice long chat about what's going on here. Legal but. formation on the defense, covering up the center. The penalties decline, first and ten, Ohio State. You gotta have you gotta have two quarterbacks in the National Football League. Anderson picks his way. Let's get out of Holly with a report on one of the developing stories here in the third quarter. Breaking news, guys. This is big. I ran all the way down here. Brutus is okay after being examined in the back. Are you okay, <laughs> Brutus? How many yeah. fingers am I holding up? Three. Good. Calls it his first love. LC go with the balls. I missed the end of the show here. He went with smoke. He brought Smokey up on the set, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You got a W on the pick then. And still hit the ground moving and accelerating. Powerful and very twitchy. Both Ohio State tailbacks who carry the ball over 100 yards tonight. That's 107 now on Henderson. He's toted it 19 times. Stroud delivers on the sidelines. And Fleming's wide open and he's knocked down inside the 10. Will be first and goal again. Touchdown, Abuka. An absolute short range missile. Super yeah. accurate for short range. Great touch on long balls. You may have heard about the shifting broadcast right starting next year. We're going to save it every minute we get here and throughout the Big Ten this season. Seven completions. For Mertz tonight for 64 passing yards. All of them have been short. Allen, nice open field tackle. I'd say Tommy Eichenberg's played an outstanding game, really from the first series. Yeah, I mean, he's usually known last year as more of a, of a box, kind of traditional Mike linebacker that we could thump you in the run game between the tackles. And, and I think this system with Jim Knowles has asked him to do that much more. And there's a comfort level there. He just seems to be playing a lot faster and roaming around, defending the pass, blitzing at times, and of course defending the run the way he always has. Works on the move, second and six pitches to the sideline. Catch made by Bell. Think about him 
sort of like funneling the ball, being a physical guy, but out in space, he's, he's impressed me tonight more than holding his own. Yeah, out there. you remember he was the defensive MVP in the Rose Boy, had a bunch of tackles that night against Utah, and I, and I think he really committed himself. He's, he's a junior out of Cleveland, Ohio, at a St. Ignatius High School, traditional powerhouse in the state. Great pride, and I think when Jim Knowles came in, right away he recognized, okay, this is my guy. You know, he had last four years he had Malcolm Rodriguez who started hard knocks Rodrigo this is this is that position you need a guy who's who's very cerebral understands the scheme gets guys lined up and helps his defense play fast Allen in the wildcat in third and one he was looking to throw and he will pitch it and it's complete that should back the tight end so a completed pass with a feature back for the Badgers in the first down yeah and, and Tanner McAllister right here starts to come down he starts to kind of feel he sees that motion now he's okay I got to get up I got to get up but gets up a little not a little a lot too late makes it easy there for the Badgers to pick up the first down on third and short I'm telling you a 10 yard guy. game with a passing game tonight that's that's, that's big. been a big game got to rely on the big 230 pound 235 pound running back to make it what, what can he do this is the more familiar role Allen just makes a cut. Big, tall, 6'2 running back. Goes for eight. That had Gary Brown's face on them. He got a tattoo. He's got the ball again, Holly. And breaking tackles. Go ahead. And, and he just wants to honor this man who taught him the position. He said, everything I know about being a running back, I learned from Gary Brown. A lot of the team was gutted when they heard the news of him passing and Braylon Allen making sure he is honoring that coach. Yeah, it speaks to his class and also to the power that coaches have within the lives of these young men, what they mean. Certainly wish him the best for his recovery. Allen, meanwhile, still running hard down inside the 40 yard line. Jean Baptiste got him to the ground. And that's, that's when you really learn about a, a running back and the spirit, and how he runs 45 7 into the fourth quarter. And you, you love to see he's still running with with an attitude still running with determination still competing most importantly but one of the top backs in FBS with yards after contact Ohio State's done a good job corralling him they haven't let him get out he's got the ball again follows the lead blocker they chase him down from behind at the 36 that's Eichenberg with his 14th once again, Allen in the Wildcat on third and two. Jackson Aker, the fullback, is throwing a block for him. He reroutes himself and runs through a tackle. Nice cut back to the right. First down at the 30. It ended up being a cut back, yeah, all the way to the right. I mean, this, this play is designed. Look, the, the guard's pulling over here. This play is designed to go over here. He goes there and then works all the way back. Watch that backside guard. Here we go. Get a little left. And then it gives you an idea of the patience and the vision by the big man that time he didn't give up on the play and just lower his head good job sustaining blocks as well on the back side they're off to the right it's some good backs in the big ten so Mo Abraham from Minnesota big game again as they hammer Michigan State obviously the, the tandem here at Ohio State, they caught a couple of touchdowns from Michigan. Penn State's got some yeah, young backs. Oh, man, it's a terrific, it really is. terrific stable of running backs in this conference. Minnesota's starting to really, the cream starting to rise a little bit in the Big Ten West. I know it's still early in the year, but with a veteran quarterback in Tanner Morgan, Will Ibrahim back from that injury, have some veterans around. I mean, they, they, you gonna roll the boat in the West? I'm rolling a boat right now. Yeah, I, I am impressed by PJ Flex's team. Second down keeper again, and Allen's going to be stopped up to the beginning to catch on. Michigan just getting better each week. Finally played a real opponent this week. Wide open man, they flip it across the middle, and the catch is made. He's got it. Makes his way in, changes direction, looking for any crease. Knocked down at the two. Allen's been busy, man. He's just grinded away on this drive. He's carried it ten times and thrown a completed pass. This is 11 carry in the drive. You got to be well conditioned, a lot of stamina to, to carry it 11 times in a drive. He <laughs> looks pretty tired. He fake it to him. Works wants to throw and wide open. The catch is made by Jackson Aker, the fullback, and that's the first touchdown toss for Merks tonight. 
Yeah, I think they're so concerned with what you just said that the safety right here Hickman does not pick up the fullback thinks it's just going to be a run play and he kind of gets lost and then realizes that late play action and just too late to react good call by there by Paul Chris and the Badgers finally get their touchdown tonight under 10 minutes to go in this game. See Allen he was so tired. I mean you don't see a guy carry a ball. 11 times in a driver which he threw himself at a blocker. He's still showing some fight that 14 play drive 11 of them carries by Allen. Ohio State still with their first unit in. Henderson takes the handoff, makes a cut. Trevion Henderson sidesteps another tackler and is slung down across the 35 by Torchio for a first down. Holly? Well, you're talking about Nick Herbert bringing that um, Hawaii flavor to Wisconsin. He actually made snacks for the entire team and is a Hawaiian specialty called Masubi. And it is um, spam with rice wrapped in seaweed. And everyone on the plane and bus got to have one this week. You lost got to, spam. Got to or had to? <laughs> I mean, I know that spam, oh, spam is consumed a lot in Hawaii. I, I, yeah. I, I'm not feeling it. Well, you've, you've been over there a bunch. Have I do. Have you ever try that? I find other things far more delicious yeah. than just the regular sushi. Oh, my goodness. Big hit delivered on a buka by Torchio after the catch. Pays the price. The late pressure, Stroud delivers over the middle and lofts it for Fleming. Pass underthrown and Jay Shaw caught up to it and broke it up. Well, he couldn't quite step into the throw. Wisconsin did a pretty good job here of getting some pressure. Caden Johnson is able to, just as he releases the ball, he's able to get right there. So he couldn't quite step into it, but definitely had it. Julian Fleming behind coverage, behind Jay Shaw, the corner, and had a touchdown if he's able to put more on that football. Brian Clark is has no idea that it's 45 to 14 still in attack mode 821 to go. Not often have been able to get near Stroud and affect him tonight did that time. We we'll use the play clock and apparently spend a time out here. Does he see it. You know, Ryan Day caught it at the last second CJ was unaware so. Recruiting and, and developing those receivers. Rex Buckeye receiver himself, of course, who played in the NFL. Running back room, not bad either. Henderson continues to build on a 100 yard night. He's, and, you know, Brian Hartline really developing quite a reputation for his ability to recruit. And, you know, he's, you look at the room that he has currently, you look at some of the players that just left. And who they, you know, Garrett Wilson, Olave, who are now playing in the NFL. Some of the players that are already verbal to Ohio State for their next class. So that's the difference now with Ryan Day. The quarterback room and the receiver room is just a lot of NFL personnel. Didn't that make recruiting easier? I mean, how much? I know he's good at his job, but how good do you have to be? Have you seen our quarterbacks here lately? Have you seen all those guys on Sunday out of Ohio State? And then, you know, the pipeline at quarterback, too. Yeah. You got Dylan Royola coming in. Stroud says an elusiveness gets away and chucks it downfield and trying to make a one handed catch is Harrison. And if flag comes out, Shaw was defending him. Great job. It's keeping that play alive, right? I think sometimes people sleep on the athletic ability of C.J. Stroud. A lot of times he doesn't have to show it because he throws in rhythm. Defense, number one, 15 yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage. Automatic. Very First elusive down. on that play. Got away from a couple guys. Yeah, he did. I mean, a lot of times you you think about C.J. Stroud, it's drop back, hitch, ball is out. You know, it, it's not very often that you see him. Watch him at the bottom. What I love to see is Marvin Harrison initially comes back to the ball, and then he sees that his his quarterback's in trouble, and then he decides to work downfield. So good job on the scramble drill there, and they get the pass interference. A couple of Olays in that. Yeah, from Stroud. Good throw across the middle. It's a dart. Habuka dives for the end zone. Touchdown pass number five for Stroud. And a second for number two. And throw it right by him. Ohio State with half a hundred. Doinked. The state. Mike Norvell. They're up big today. Boston College. 
or higher scoring. Not today. Like last week. No, no, not today. today. Different score. Here, yes, but not everywhere. Uh oh. Allen takes off a foot race and somehow, after an exhausting night, hopelessly behind on the scoreboard, Allen is still firing. Braylon Allen having a night in the losing cause. 75 yards. And that will not make Ryan Day or Jim Knowles, his defensive coordinator, happy. A breakdown there. He's kind of hesitated in, in putting up some, putting in some of the backups, but but here he did. And Kai Stokes, who was playing safety, just kind of late to break. I mean, it's one thing to have a good block up front, offensive line. They got up to the linebackers, but you put a safety in the middle of the field to help you out. So that last was Captain Drive. Allen carried it 11 times. Booker will just make the fair catch. Kevin, how about the job? Adrian Martinez coming over from Nebraska. Everybody criticizing him. A lot of turnovers that cost Nebraska. Playing pretty well for Kansas State. We'd love to have a day like that against the Sooners when he was with the Cornhuskers. Yeah. Kyle McCord spelling Strad, who after his five touchdown pass game, the seventh of his career, by the way, in 16 career starts. Think about that. Almost half his starts. He throw five touchdown passes. Good batting average. McCord is a sophomore from Jersey. Considered a very high quality back in the day. There's a lot of trust in this guy. Kyle McCord and Devin Brown both, who's a true freshman behind him. Their, their quarterback room is stacked, especially by today's standards. This is the young freshman, Dallin Hayden, who in, in mop up duty against Toledo had a 100 yard game last week. Watched him in high school quite a bit out of Memphis. Christian Brothers, really talented back. To catch the ball to the backfield. Not as big as Mayan Williams or Trevion Henderson, but boy, he is slick. He can get through those creases and, and get downhill with that speed, and he can outrun a lot of people. Mayan Williams had his 11 carries at 100 yards early. It was really Henderson who came in to sort of pay, play the change of pace back. He's got 121. So 200 yard rushes and a five touchdown night. Not just a talented quarterback. Usual accurate throws, but after the catch tonight, Buckeye receivers have 130 yards. That's a big number running after the catch. Hayden again, they push the pile forward. Nice game on first down. So go down inside five minutes and takeaways from this game. Ohio State answering the challenge of the conference opener against a very respected defense and looking very, very much like a overwhelming favorite really in all of their games except perhaps a road game in Happy Valley. That'll be a noon kickoff, not the whiteout. And of course, the home game here at Michigan comes into this place. Iowa comes here. But who's going to stop? I mean, Scarlett at, and Gray? at Penn State it is a game. You always look at that game when Ohio State travels to State College. And then, of course, Michigan at the end of the year playing, but they have to come to Columbus. And after last year's game, a lot of people excited to see that game. Hayden again, knocked down from behind, but a first down at midnight. Figure those numbers out. I would just kind of throw stuff against the wall on the bus after the game. That's it. <laughs> There's some algorithms involved, and I promise you. you know, the, big, the big gainers from preseason chances of making the playoff to now. Did they look that bad against Notre Dame, or like what, what happened? They went into the computer went into panic mode after opening night. Have, have you seen them lately? Uh, listen. Right here. What do you have for us, 89? 80? Hit somebody. I just hit somebody. Hit somebody. Can throw him in a seam route. <laughs> That's Look it. At Look at him. Oh, yeah. people. Look at him. Look people. You, know, you, you also see, you know, with Mitch Rossi, more of that H back, almost fullback type of guy. Second punt of the night. And it's going to carry into the end zone. Not quite fielded in the field of play. Who the, who's the team to beat? Rockies, too, by the way. Yeah, who is it? The Astros? Or who, Bear, who's the team to beat in baseball? Dodgers are in there. No, just in general. Just Atlanta and, and LA. People already start to know how they match up in the series. Yeah. Pitching matchups. Yeah. Well, CJ Stroud sharp from the start exactly what Ryan Day wanted come out make a statement click early put the Badgers behind 
And Wisconsin pretty much reeling from the early minutes of this game on. Day is going to remain perfect against unranked teams in his coaching career. Still just the one home loss for day coach teams. And Ohio State going to 1 and 0 in conference play. Eisman campaign still cranked up. Only four games in. Long way to go, but CJ Stroud and company.